so today we'll be testing determination of hardness as you can see we have taken edta here and we have taken ammonium buffer solution we have taken the indicator erichrome black tea and we have taken sample of 50 ml of tap water as a sample and in the burette we have filled it with edta solution so 2 ml of ammonia buffer solution is added to the sample before adding to the indicator this helps in showing the change in color for the sample so now the indicator erichrome black tea is added a pinch of erichrome black tea there is a slight change in the color which turns to wine red after adding the ammonia buffer solution of 2 ml and erichrome black tea indicator the sample has changed to wine red color now titrate it against edta solution until the wine red color changes to blue color Yes, as you can see, now it has turned to permanent blue color, which indicates that total hardness is present. Take down the initial reading of burette. So initially we had filled it till zero. So after the titration, the volume of EDTA consumed is final burette reading is twenty six point three. So this value will be used to calculate the B one value for the sample of tap water. So in connection with the previous video, so the same procedure has been carried out for the 50 ml of uh, distilled water in order to calculate the A1 for the calculation purpose. So we have taken 50 ml of distilled water, so ammonia buffer solution is being added to this. Two ml of ammonium buffer solution is added to the sample. Now the same indicator, erichrome black tea. A pinch of erichrome black tea is added. So the color has changed to wine red. It is being titrated against EDTA. As you can see, it has turned to permanent blue color. Now for the calculation of A1, initial reading of the burette was 0. Note down the final burette reading. Utilize the burette reading for the calculation of A1. This is being titrated for distilled water, so total hardness. C1 is equals to A1 minus B1. A1 is the value. So that we have got it by titrating the EDT against distilled water and B1 is the value we have got by titrating the EDT against tap water as a sample. So C1 is equals to A1 minus B1 which gives you the total hardness. We are determining the calcium hardness here. As you can see, we have taken EDTA, NaOH solution and muroxide as the indicator. We have taken 50 ml of tamp water as sample. We have filled the EDTA solution in the burette. So we will add the NaOH solution to the sample. 
one ml of NaOH solution is added to the sample. A pinch of muroxide is added to the sample and the sample has changed to pink color. Now it is being titrated against EDTA solution. The color has changed from pink to purple indicating the presence of calcium hardness. The initial burette reading was 0 and note down the final burette reading for the calculation of calcium hardness. So total hardness includes both calcium hardness plus magnesium hardness. So in the previous experiment we have found out the total hardness. Now in order to find out the magnesium hardness. Total hardness minus calcium hardness will give you the magnesium hardness.